dismantle my breaker box <coughs> because I have to install a power post to connect the negative wire to the uh, controller. The negative wire transitions to from a 8 gauge wire to a 6 gauge wire uh, so I have to put the power post here to make that transition. So now we have the power post installed. Now the power post is in. The first thing we have to do now is connect the uh, six gauge negative wire to the controller. So we have to crimp a lug onto the wire. connection. Then we have to make a second lug on the negative wire that comes directly from the solar panels. This is a good connection. You want to be careful because these two wires, they're probably bringing in uh, uh, probably around uh, 12 or 14 amps right now. So what I'll do now is put the breaker box back together again. The only thing that uh, remains is I have to connect the negative of the solar panels and the positive to the circuit breaker. That's better. That has a good connection. I'll reinstall the cover. It is nice to have such a small box because it doesn't occupy much space. So that is done now. Now I'll tidy this up a little bit I'll make a few more attachments so that there's no movement anymore in the wires what are we working on today it's just uh, a temporary connection to my solar panels uh, from the roof end to the bus bars so I'm uh, pulling the wire, and uh, the black is by the way a positive. Got it through the uh, interior adapter that I made. Then I'll guide it along the roof cross member to the side, and then I have to connect it to a new wire. The wire that comes from the roof end is is a 16 gauge wire but for the distance that I have to cover and to avoid voltage drop just just the right size wire I should switch over to a little bit heavier cable I just chose to use a 14 gauge wire to continue to the fuse box
that fits well. Then I'm adding two connectors on the other side of the wire. And I have to be really careful now because my boss is uh, supervising me and he's close by and he's watching me. Eh, Joey? Then we're going to mount my fuse box, again, temporarily. Then the fuse box uh, has a positive and a negative uh, side. I have to be careful, I have to use the black wire. Still have to put a fuse in as well, and that's a seven and a half uh, amp fuse that I'll be using. Uh, the fan it has a maximum of about 4.4 amps, maybe 5 amps, so 7.5 amps should be good. And that's the way it will look. Put this on first. That's some heat shrink. bit of electrical tape to hold it all together. That's the way it looks now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the fuse box with the bus bars. Again, this is just a temporary installation and I'm using an old cable. I'll cut it in half. And this is an 8 gauge wire. I'll be putting a lug on this side. Okay, that one fits well too. Then we need some heat shrink, the two red cables, but at least one indicates that it's uh, negative and the other one is positive. And what I'll do is just close it just as much as that the lug is just holding in there without being depressed. Yeah, I think so. Yes. That, that's a great connection. And I cannot emphasize enough how important I think it is to have a good connect, cable connection. Okay, so I got a positive and a negative. That's the negative.
the positive and the negative come into the bus bars. From here it goes to the batteries, which I still have to install. And then it also goes to a fuse box. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one of a kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Done a good job.